of 10 wins. Nine of those wins coming by way of knockout. Yesterday, he scaled 12 stone, 7 pounds, fighting out of Ilford, England. The Beast, Anthony Yarn. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He boasts a professional record of six wins, one loss and one draw. He weighed in at 12 stone and seven pounds, fighting out of Southampton, England, the reigning Southern Area light heavyweight champion, Chris Hawes. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Jeffrey Hines. Gentlemen, join me. Gentlemen. Okay, gentlemen. Ten rounds or less for the title. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. So the heavily muscled Anthony Yard, Chris Hobbs, says of him, he's overrated. He's untested. He's too muscle-bound. Let's see what happens when I take him deeper into the fight. He's got to get it away from those power shots of Yard, who's looked measured, accurate, composed in pretty much everything he's done so Second far. Out. Says oh, he's what? an absolute workaholic. He's ready to learn and ready to be tested at a higher level. How long is this going to last? Be interesting to see how Hobbs gives the starts off here, John. Does he box at reins? Does he take it to? the challenger although he knows he's a big puncher in front of him It'll be interesting to see how Hobbs goes about his business surely he'll work behind his jab try and stay at distance just trying to avoid those big bombs early Hobbs has been a pro since 2012 30 amateur fights Yard with very little amateur experience he's learning as he goes along as a pro really It's a constant feature in the gym at the Peacock, him and his trainer working away together. He only just missed with that right hand over the top. Trying to, trying to early on show his physical strength in those clinches. Clever boxing there from Yard, who's actually fainting to the head and the body, and then he just whipped that left hook around the corner of Hobbs' guard. He's just testing his opponent here, his Yard, with those little feints to the head and body. Have a little bit of boxing that was. Hobbs trying to rough him up. Trying to show that he's not just going to be there for target practice, but a big right hand from Yard does land. Hobbs manages to take it. Yep, Yard with a little smile on his face. He knows that Hobbs felt the power there. Yeah, and another right hand, and again from Yard, that was high on the temple, John. And he's going to go, I think. He's on unsteady feet, and Yard's looking to take him out in this opening round. Look at the contemptuous sneer that he had on his face. Another big right hand, and Hobbs can do no more than just hold on and try and survive. Cocky, confident look about Yard, isn't it? Well, good right hands from Yard early on, John. One setting the, the scene one of the things you have to do rich is score the rounds i've got a bit of a feeling that uh, the scorecards are not going to be called into account here but we will see Hobbs is still standing despite taking some crushing shots bravely trying to jab his way back yeah you know, i was looking to land that big right hand isn't he but he's also just throw oh that's a good body shot that hurt him and a nod from Yard as much as to say, there you go, that's how hard I can punch, and another one. But Hobbs is still in there, still trying to get right in his face. He's just trying to grab him here, oh, no, great shot to the body. Well, he felt the weight of that. Hobbs is back up, but that pain will not go away. He'd been hit by body shots before, and he was on the same mark. And the bell goes to end an opening round, which Yard has dominated. Checking out the options. He caught him one. earlier on, hadn't he, with a yeah. tremendous shot? Yeah, he did. Here's that body shot there. That was a super punch. It's a 10-8 round for Yard, no question.
Well, how much of that pain remains in the midriff of Chris Hobbs as he goes into the second round? All bar one of Anthony Yard's fights have finished in the first two, and now we go into the second of this fight, which is, well, it's listed as a 10-rounder for the Southern Area title. Well, Hobbs has really got problems, hasn't he? He's got to try and keep his man at bay. Once Yard just closes that gap down, and he's looking to land those big body shots. Very powerful man indeed, but Hobbs has, has somehow got to try and box at distance and keep Yard at bay. That's his problem. Look at Yard, the look of confidence Good on his face. He's just trying to get to him straight away. Oh, he's forgot his gum shield. He's forgotten his gum shield indeed. Just walks away. <laughs> and sportingly, Chris Hobbs allows him to go. And the touch of gloves. He could have run after him and just clobbered him, unless the referee had said wait, but didn't. Yeah. Defend yourself at all times, what the referee said at the start of the contest. All-round sportsman, Yard. It's a trials for QPR. He's going to have the man in the back four, wouldn't he? He is finding this an easy night's work at the moment, Anthony Yard. And is he going to be able to find another big body shot? Maybe he's just happy to get around the two under his belt and just show us what he can do so far as boxing since then. Or maybe not. Well, there's a good shot that went in from Hobbs there over the top, and that sparked Yard right into life now, hasn't it? Up until that point, Yard was more or less playing with Hobbs. He was doing what he wanted, but Hobbs there responded well, caught him with a right hand. Yard. Fortunately, though, oh. Yard was walking away. Look at Yard now, he's on that front foot. Good right hand, yeah, big shot. and Hobbs takes it well, showing plenty of bravery in there. More the sense that Yard is happy to be having something come back at him, so he can show that he's more than just a puncher. I think you're right, John, earlier what you said, he's probably looking to get a few rounds under his belt. But, uh, it's, a, it's a risky business, this game, if you are thinking like that. You should try and get your, rid of your opponents and get him out of there as soon as you can, to be quite honest. But Yard's obviously enjoying this, and he looks... Uh, he looks a level above, and that's taking nothing away from Chris Hobbs' his game, but he's up against it here, John. Chris Hobbs' his soldier mates in Nuneaton, and his friends back home in Southampton will say, this is one tough boy. He's seen a lot in life, and he's tough enough to stay in there and try and give Yard a fight, and he's bravely trying to hang on in there. And he's going to go through with a bit of use of the head, which Yard complains about, both of them, I think, culpable there, but he goes through to the bell to end the second. With Bet Victor's Golden Goal, you get a free weekly prediction to guess the game. Third round, only the second time that Yard has had to go as far as this in his professional career. And is Hobbs going to be able to survive and test his stamina? Is he going to be able to show that he has got superior fitness? So far, Yard utterly dominant, though. Fast right hand again from... Yard and Hobbs wants to hold on and get inside. Not shy of trying to get his head on his chest, is he? Hobbs has just got to watch when Yard faints with his jab to the body because what's coming then, he's probably a right hand over the top. So he fainted to the body just to take the attention away from the right hand. That's to follow. Very fast hands indeed. Explosive. Looks the part, doesn't he, Yard? But again, he's very calm, calculated. The way he boxes his yard. Hobbs, though, is managing to survive. And that's the game plan from his corner as he walks into a big left hook, takes it well. I don't think it landed flush on the jaw. And Hart Yard misses with that right hand over the top. And again, Hobbs right into his face, trying to rough him up inside. The referee won't stand too much more of that. Great body shot again, and he felt the pain of that, Hobbs. You saw the grimace on his face as that big right hand from Yard landed. 
and it's not gone away, and down he goes again, another body shot, and it's the body attacks that are unravelling Chris Hobbs. The power of Yard with those body shots is proving decisive, and I don't think that Chris Hobbs will want too much more. Another big body shot, and that might be it. We've got to remember, Hobbs is a tough, tough kid, isn't he? You know, he's a soldier, tough lad. He's taken a couple of big body shots there, right hand and that left up to the body, especially that second shot that put him down. Bang on the button, and he felt the pain there. And he still will be feeling that pain, John. Yard just blowing a wee bit more heavily as we move through this third round. He says he regularly does ten rounds. In sparring, he's got no problems with his fitness. He's confident he can go the distance if required. But if you hadn't seen him before and didn't know he can punch, well, he's not put Chris Hobbs away, who's bravely hanging in there. But we've seen vivid evidence of the power with which he delivers his punches. And there's another one. Down he goes. The bell goes. And he gets to his feet, the referee's having a close look, and he's going to decide whether he's going to go on. He's annoyed, he's down again, but he survives. Relax, relax. Listen, shut up, breathe, stand up. Listen, Chris, listen to your man. Listen, relax, shut the fuck up and relax, OK? Well, he relax. survived. Okay. Big body shots, down twice. Sorry about the language which you might be hearing in the corner. Tough game, though. Tough sport. Yeah, indeed. Some great shots here from Yard. There's that right to the body there underneath, and then a left hook to follow. Some super work from Yard. There it was. There, look. And he goes to his, his knees right at the end of the round. Look at this second one now. There it was. What a left hook to the body that was. Second out. Great shots there from Yard. Four. Two body shots twice knocked down a 10-7 round in yards favor into the fourth Chris Hobbs angry when he got back to the corner but so determined that he is gonna stay in there and hats off to his bravery yeah, fair play to him. seen a few fighters take what is known in boxing as a knee when they receive that sort of punishment there have been many John that would have um, thought I've had enough of this Fair play to Hobbs, still coming back, still fighting on. Tough guy. You can see him gritting his teeth. Hobbs. Here comes Yard again. The body's the target. Another big right hook. Almost went down. And he slips down this time, Hobbs. Is that a cut? Is that a knockdown? Yeah, well, I it's being it... given as one. It must have been a little right-handed. I think there. there was a shot in there, John, actually. Fair play to Hobbs. He gets up straight away. Well yet another knockdown the fourth of the fight so far or is it fifth fourth but Hobbs bravely gets up once more and Hobbs is just doing what he can now on the inside John is just trying to hold and just trying to let the, let the clock tick by a little bit and see if he can recover that's what he's trying to do and blood shots going in on the inside but yard all the way isn't it look at this Bravery again from Yard, trying to fire back. But it's pea shooter stuff against heavy artillery, and there, yet another huge shot to the body. How much more can he take? Referee well, saying, Are you sure? I Are you sure? It's going on. I think his corner should be thinking about pulling him out, John, to be quite honest. He's getting hurt in there. It's only a matter of time before Yard connects again with another shot. He's a brave kid, but again, like I said earlier, some boxers have to be saved from themselves. And I think this is another case here. Chris Hobbs has extraordinary power ranged up against him. Anthony Yard delivering wonderful shots. Just trying to stay close to him, isn't he, Hobbs? So he just nullifies that work on the inside from Yard. Comes back with a couple of good shots of his own. Oh, but Down what again. a left hook that was. Down again with another left hook. 
surely the corner. Oh, the, the towel is coming go, in. Yeah, and rightly so. They put the towel in. Here's furious. He's saying, no, no, I could have continued. I could have continued. But withering attacks from Anthony Yard. Extraordinary power shots. Nobody's questioning Chris Hobbs' bravery. He'd have fought on. He'd, He'd have, have taken it until he dropped. Yeah, till he dropped, he's a brave kid. But I agree with the corner. The corner have got to pull him out. You know, and he doesn't want to be stopped. Of course he doesn't. He's a brave kid. He's strong. He's tough. But the, the corner made the right choice there. It was to, to pull him out most definitely because he's going he's gonna to get hurt. It was just a matter of time before the yard again landed another big shot. So I agree with the corner there. He's impressive, isn't he? Let's watch again how it came at the end. Body shots have been the undoing of Chris Hobbs, and there was the final one. Yeah, raw power from Yard, left hook that sealed it. Let's have a look here. He actually came back with a couple of shots himself, but there, that is a crunching shot, it really is. That's like a rib-breaking shot. He's going to have harder tests. Well, he's he is, but, find, but he, is, uh, he is impressive. He is impressive, and this was meant to be a test, wasn't it, for, for Yard? This kid was 6 one and one so it was a little bit more of a step up for him. But you, um, been, yeah, I agree I agree with the, the corner there. I know he's really, really angry, his Hobbs, because no boxer wants to be stopped, John. They're brave, they're brave kids, and he's as brave as a lion. But that was the right decision to make from that corner. Absolutely no question at all. Well, you've been around the fight game a long time, and I've watched a, a fair few over 30 years or so as a commentator. And I tell you what, Anthony Yard has got a lot going for him and at this stage of his career you have to think that he is going to go a long way i think so he needs rounds under his belt but he keeps on knocking guys out so he's explosive he's doing the right type of training um, i reckon he's sparring long hard rounds so they're confident in his fitness he probably wanted to do a few more rounds tonight but he's probably a victim of his own success with the power that he's got and it was a good win again the winning run continues win number 11 Another knockout win as well. And keep your eyes on Anthony Yard. Here is Andy Friedlander to give you the formal confirmation of another victory. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jeffrey Hines calls a stop to this contest at 2 minutes and 51 seconds of round number four with Hobbs in no condition to continue. Declaring the winner and new Southern Area Light Heavyweight Champion, the Beast, Anthony Yard. I'll grab the interview microphone, Paul. I think he's going to be rather a happy young man to have done it yet again. Thank you, John. Back to you in a moment. He's a very engaging young man, Steve, as we're, I'm sure, about to find out again. But he's a mean son of a gun when he has to be as well, isn't he? He's nasty when he opens up, he means everything he throws, he doesn't waste that many punches, his landing percentage is, is, is really...